Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and I'm going to change it around a bit. Today I'm going to talk about real stories and real people, not even about tanks. And I'm going to talk about one of my heroes of World War II, this gentleman here, born Kirill Mikhailovich Simonov, who is now known as Konstantin Simonov because he changed his name. Now, I say he's well known, but he's only really well known in the former Soviet Union republics or if you're into literature or history. Because Konstantin Simonov was a war poet and a war correspondent for the Red Army. But the thing about this gentleman is he served in some of the bloodiest battles in World War II. Now, he was born in 1915 in the town of Petrograd, which then changed to Leningrad, which we now know as St. Petersburg an aristocratic family. His mother was indeed a princess. Now, he started writing in around 1936, but it was during the war years that he really came to prominence. And as I said, one of the battles he fought in was the Battle of Stalingrad, which was pretty horrific. And he was there as a war correspondent, writing for the official army newspaper, Krasnaya Zevda, and it was during these, these encounters that some of his best work came out. Now, in my opinion, he wrote the best war poem ever to be written. And it is the most poignant and, I personally believe, everlasting war poem that has ever been produced. Now, you could argue with that. It's just my personal view. But he wrote it whilst he was serving actively on the front line. He went on to serve in the Battle of Berlin. He survived the war, highly decorated. He had three orders of Lenin. He had the Order of the Red Banner. He had the Medal for the Defense of Stalingrad and a lot of other stuff. And he passed away at the age of 63 in 1979. But for me, he'll always be remembered as writing the most heart-rendering war poem ever under extreme circumstances, which really comes out in the verses of the poem, which was actually written for his, his girlfriend then, Valentina Sarova. And it really captures the essence of what not only himself, but millions of Russian soldiers must have felt at that moment in time. But what do you think? This is the war poem written by Konstantin Simonov called Wait For Me. Wait for me and I'll return. Only wait with all you've got. Wait when dreary yellow rains tell you you should not. Wait when snow is falling fast. Wait when summer's hot. Wait when yesterdays are past. Others are forgot. Wait when from that far off place letters don't arrive. Wait when those with whom you wait doubt if I'm alive. Wait for me and I'll return, but wait in patience yet, when they tell you off by heart that you should forget, even when my dearest ones say that I am lost, even when my friends give up and sit and count the cost, they drink a glass of bitter wine to the fallen friend, wait and do not drink with them, wait until the end, wait for me and I'll come back Dodging every fate, what a bitter look they'll say, those that would not wait. They will never understand how amidst the strife, by your waiting for me, dear, you had saved my life. Only you and I will know how you got me through. Simply, you knew how to wait, no one else but you. Now, I would have loved to have done that poem in the original Russian, but unfortunately my Russian's not that good. But if anybody's interested, the title of the poem is actually Zdiminya. It's a great poem. It's one of my favourite poems. I think Konstantin Simonov is under-recognised by a lot of people. I hope this has been educational. I hope you've learned a bit more about one of my literary heroes who wrote one if not the best poem under the most extreme of circumstances. Anyway, that has been the small tale of Konstantin Simonov. I have been Fujit. I hope that was enjoyable and educational. By all means, comment, like below, and press subscribe if you really want to. 
And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there.